So for this week's yoga, we're going to start standing. Have your feet about hip distance. And then leading with your eyes, you're going to sweep your arms overhead, look up. Still leading with your eyes, sweep your arms down towards your toes. You probably won't reach yet. That doesn't matter. Leading with your eyes, sweep your arms up overhead. Squeeze your legs. And then leading with your eyes, hinge your hips back, tip your hands down towards your toes, towards the floor. And then keep leading with your eyes, just working through that in your own time. So sweeping your arms up, up onto the side so you can see. I'm hinging my hips back. My legs don't need to be straight, as long as they've got a bit of a hamstring stretch, that's fine. And then let's match breathing to this movement. So breathe out to come down. And breathe in to come up. So you might find, breathe out to come down. If you get a little bit further towards the floor, breathe out to come up every time you come down. Remember, we're leading with our eyes. And let's do one more. So breathe out, come down. Breathe in to come up. And then breathe out, come down and stay down. And stay in that forward fold. Relax your neck. Take the crown of your head towards the floor. So you're looking, your eyes are directed back between your knees. Try and have lots of tension in your legs and almost try and pull your, um, your abs down towards your thighs, so you're trying to get um, a pulling direction. So you're really trying to pull yourself, fold yourself down into that position. So just squeeze, squeeze your belly, squeeze your hips, and compress your hip flexors. And then staying down, hold on to opposite elbows with opposite arms. So it's a little bit like folding your arms. You're kind of plugging your hands to your inner elbows. I'm going to make some circles. So hold it onto your arms, lift yourself up, make a big circle and then come down and then I'm going to do the opposite way. So big circle, standing all the way up and down. So using your arms as the starting point, so your, your elbows are what's making that big circle and the rest of your torso is following. Come down, keep going the opposite direction each time. Let's do one more each time. Good, lovely. Okay, stop there. And then let's come on to the mat. So take your, the soles of your feet together and then try and pull them towards you. So the soles of your feet your, and your heels are coming quite close into your hips. Find a comfortable position. Make um, like a basket shape with your hands and then hook your toes um, with that basket shape. So you're pinning your hands down to the floor. Okay. And then let's just gently rock from side to side. Your knees might be higher than mine, your knees might be lower than mine. Doesn't matter. Either way, you'll probably be feeling a stretch in your inner thighs. Try and kind of floss your way into each side. So find a point of stretch, stay there. Find a point of stretch, stay there. If it doesn't feel stretchy, maybe go in circles instead. So just trying to get some movement in your lower spine and in your waist. So we're working quite a bit on movement in this um, week. So that idea of flossing your joints, especially your hip joints, so just finding movements. And then seeing whether you can expand 
how much movement you've got. So expand that range of motion. Okay, stop there. And then we'll come on to all fours. And we're going to do some hip circles. So I want you to imagine you've got a paintbrush um, on the end of your knee and you're going to paint um, really big circles with that paintbrush. So it looks like this. So you've got a paintbrush on your knee. Your knee's still bent, so you've still got your, um, your foot kicking towards your bum. And the rest of your body stays really still. The only thing that should be moving is your leg. So really try and direct your attention to the fact that your um, hip bone, your hip socket, sorry, your thigh bone is moving around in your um, hip socket. So you can make it quite slow, make it deliberate. So we're not relying on any, any momentum here. Slow, deliberate circles. It might not feel easy. And then let's go the opposite direction. The opposite direction might feel a bit easier. Nice big circles. Just try and explore your range of motion. Try and see where your edges are, where the boundaries are. One more circle. And we'll swap sides. So we go to the other side. So this side, um, it might feel really different in how big a circle it can make for now. So when we were doing lots of repetitions on the other side, you were probably in minuscule amounts getting slightly bigger each circle you made. So it probably feels a bit weird to this side to not be going um, as far. Keep at it, keeping your pelvis still. Try and make the only thing moving with your leg. This is yoga, I promise. <laughs> My yoga. Okay, a few more big circles here. Nice and slow, deliberate, controlled. And then we'll go the opposite direction. Nice big circles. Try and enjoy how far you can go. Try and go and stretch at, um, at the end ranges. And then let's come to downward dog, because what is yoga without a downward dog somewhere in it? So tuck your toes under, push your hips up and back. Try and get a straight line between your wrists and your hips. Take some deep breaths. down to hands and knees. Okay, and then we're going to move again into our hips. So, onto all fours, and then take the right foot outside your right hand. So from the front it looks like this. Right foot outside the right hand. And then it probably feels, hopefully, relatively easy in this position. So I want you to try and take your back leg back a little bit. Okay, and then we'll just um, we'll just stay here for a few seconds, for a few breaths. Try and make your hips quite heavy, and then tuck your back toes under and lift your knee off the floor. And then we're going to make circles again. 
So you might find that you need your left hand slightly further out for stability. And then make some circles. So your hips are going around in circles. Taking your left hand out if you need to, several times you move up. Take your left hand out and it just gives you a, a wider base of support to make those circles. Good, just explore how it all feels, explore how your hip feels. Come down to so take your back knee back to the floor and stay here again, just feeling how different it might feel after doing that movement in the position. Okay, and then come up onto your left fist. So instead of having your um, your hand flat on the floor, come up onto your left fist. Take your right hand to your right knee and just gently push it open. So from the front, I feel like I need one of those cameras that moves around the room with me. So I'm on my, I'm on my left fist and I'm going to take my hand to the inside of my right knee and just gently push it open. Keeping my hips coming down low, so this should make some more space for my hips to come down. Keep your breathing nice and calm. And keep your face calm. Good. And then let's come back and we'll change sides. So on all fours and then take your left foot outside your left hand. Shuffle your right knee back a little bit and then just let gravity hold you here. For a few breaths. And then tuck your back toes under. Lift your knee off the floor and we're going to make circles again. So take your right hand out to the side if you need to for a little bit more stability. And we're making circles. So starting with your, it's your hips that are guiding the movement. So your hips are making circles. And then your front knee will just come along for the ride. Go the opposite direction. And then stop, take your knee back to the floor. And then let's come up onto your right fist, take it out to the right slightly, left hand to the inside of your left knee and then push it open. So the inside of your left foot will gently lift off the floor. Some really deep breaths. And let's come back onto all fours and we'll do a downward dog again just to neutralize everything. So tuck your toes under, push your hips up and back. And this is one we've done before, so hopefully you'll remember it. So you're going to have your, um, I'm going to mirror you again. So you're going to have your uh, right knee pointing straight ahead. So I've got my right knee 
um, in between um, my shoulders pointing straight forwards. So I'm sitting to the inside of my right heel. So my right foot's there. And then I'm going to sit my left foot over my right knee. So I'm kind of tangling myself up. So my knees are in the same sort of line as each other. So in the middle of my shoulders. If this is really hard and it's not accessible, just take your foot to the inside of your leg instead. So we're not taking it to the outside, we're just going to keep it on the inside. You can stay there and lean forwards if you want to. That's fine. So if you're, if you're here, you're leaning in front of your knee, keeping your arm around it, taking your hands forwards, leaning forwards. Otherwise, take your foot over your knee and we'll just hold it here. So pulling your knee into your chest. Holding it here, just let yourself acclimatise to the position. And then we're going to move into a twist. So if you've got your knee on the inside of your foot and you've been leaning forwards, hold on to your knee with your uh, hold on to your left knee with your right hand, and then take your left hand behind you and you're twisting so look over your left shoulder. And if you've got your foot over your knee, you can still hold onto your left knee with your right hand. Take your left hand behind you, look over your shoulder. Lift just a bit deeper in the stretch. So you can either just change sides sitting on the floor or you can do a fancy twirly twist and change sides with a fancy twirly twist. So now your left knee is pointing straight ahead and you're sitting to the inside of your left heel and then you're either pulling your right foot in close and then leaning down, leaning forwards in front of it or you're going to take your right knee over your left. Sit up straight, hold your knee. Get used to the position. And then we're going to twist. So hold on to your right knee with your left hand. Take your right hand behind you. Gently twist, look over your right shoulder. Straighten your legs up in front of you. And then take your right knee, bend it, and then I want you to sit to the inside of your right heel. So I'm not sitting on my heel, I'm, I'm sitting to the inside of it. So I've got my heel hooked in really close, my foot's behind me. So from behind, this might show you a bit more obviously, from behind it looks like this. Kind of like um, if, I, if I were doing this with both feet, it looked like I'd have them um, like an M shape, make, making an M shape with my legs. So I'm sitting to the inside of my heel. Try and get both knees pointing in the same direction. Uh, push your heel away from you and your left leg, pull your toes towards you, and then lean forwards. So you might not be able to go very far forwards, it's quite an intense hamstring stretch. Straight, and then you're bending your left leg, 
Think of the outside of your left hip. Then on the floor, that gesture position. So your knees both point in the same direction. Top of your left foot's on the floor. Sit up straight and then just gently lean forwards. You might not get very far. Remember you're pushing out through this right heel and pulling your toes towards you. And then we'll lie down. So this is nice. We get to lie down. I'm going to do um, Happy Baby, which everybody likes. So you're pulling your knees in. And then take your hands, take your arms to the inside of your knees. So not to the outside there, to the inside. And then hold on to the outside edges of your feet. So what you'll probably want to do here is point the soles of your feet towards each other, but try not to. I say try not to, don't. <laughs> Instead, point the soles of your feet away from you towards the wall in front of you. So it's like you're doing a squat. So the soles of your feet are pointing away from you, not towards each other. And then take your head back down to the floor. So relax your neck, drop your head. Push your tailbone back down to the floor. So that's probably going to want to have lifted. So you've got the whole length of your spine on the floor. And then let's take the soles of your feet again and point them at the ceiling this time. So your um, legs are making right angles, right angles at your knees. And then pull your shoulders back down to the floor. And then we'll just stay here. So you're pulling your shoulders back down to the floor, pushing your tailbone into the floor. Feel free to rock from side to side. I think that's quite nice. And then come to a still position. Take some deep breaths. See if it feels a little bit more comfortable now, just after being here for a few seconds. See if you can pull your shoulders a bit further towards the floor, push your tailbone back towards the floor. And then let go. Take your feet to the floor. So one last thing, so back up here, you can see me. I'm going to make um, like a windshield wiper movement with my knees. So I'm going to let my knees fall to one side, bring them back up, let them fall to the other side. So taking my hips with me, just taking my knees from one side to the other. Pushing down just a little bit in my inside knee. So not the knee that's on the outside, but the knee that's on the inside. Just gently push it towards the floor. So whichever knee is on the inside, gently push it down. <coughs> and keep your knees straight up. Take your feet quite wide and let your knees touch. And then this is where we'll stay. Just take some deep breaths here. And you are finished. Well done.